Alright, so we're dealing with some plans here. Eh? Welcome to Sargotics. We're dealing with Hydra with the Galata. We propagated it. Rain is falling. Well, it was falling. It'll be falling again soon. It's about that time for the season. You want to propagate your plants. Make sure you get an abundance. Because sometimes, time seasons are here. It's hard to get plants. So it's going to happen and stuff. Sorry for the dog barking, you know. As you can see, we are presently killing it. You will look for the Y. This is the Y. And you will either use a scissor or take your hand and pinch at the connection where it meets. Sometimes you can do for the smaller ones, we need the bushy. Sometimes I mean I like them bushier than this. Continue like this. Hydrilla vertical latter is also known as foxtail. This will aerate your pond and help it from turning over as easily in the winter. You generally want to every month or two take them out, put them in a bucket, and rinse them three or four times. Throw away that water and put them back in. You can practice also placing them in different containments or ponds while growing them out. Yeah, remember I showed him too thick, I max two inches in depth so they can get some sunlight. You don't want them too dirty because they will either sink or shrivel and pine so it will begin to fall out. They also hold copepods and shrimp. Well, a freshwater type of shrimp to feed your fry, which will sprout your fishes to be. For example, I have koi tantras in here. I also have a kagoi, so there's a breeding. We have tantra, male and female, with one male kagoi. Or chagoi, if you want to pronounce it like that. These are fruit and lettuce. They help shade your pond and also clean your pond. These are some floating leaves. They also help clean and shade your pond. Your snails, if you're a snails, will generally eat the dead leaves of these. You want the snail as not invasive and also only eat the dead part of the plants. For example, those would be like apple snails. I should have him some here. On the small one, this they're, they're supposed to be bigger. Those are upper snails. When breeding koi, it's best. Okay, so he was getting me up a snail. This is a bigger, better example. You will realize it's yellow with a cusk type body. There's a black line behind it, a, sw like a swivel or swiggle, however you want to speak it. Coming from there, running down to the back of it. You will realize a premium up a snail, you want to care for it. All your snails, all everything in your tank shows signs of the healthy of a tank. You also want everything looking healthy and nice. If not, you need to find out what's the problem, if there's too much chlorine, if your tank has been cleaned enough, if you haven't seen your plants in a while and it's retaining um, too much of the ammonia from the pond. Because you have to remember, just like a filter, the plant will meet capacity, covering it down, will take away from the root by sunlight and water, fresh water, rain water. It helps a lot to generally sprout up and get really green and really pretty. With your coins, they will generally spawn on these, so these are way better to have in stock than mops, so that way you don't have really worry as much. Yes, people say it's easy for ropes, but natural better. That's all I'll say, natural better. You always want to have fox in all the tanks, except if you're doing something like, for example, tilapia, they will generally eat this to like, shred it up, which is okay if you want to breed them, get out some duckweed and some fox tail, but. Generally, you want to grow your fox tail or hydro that will take a lot. 
if you spawn around it with the coins on these, they generally spawn like in the morning, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So, you pull these out, you look at them, you see if you see any gelatinous, yellow, creamy looking colors, you pull it out, put it on the fan pond, or if you take these meat adults and move them to a hole and pond, you should have a pond waiting if you expect fry coming, you can look at the female, see if she's carrying eggs, if you're not too sure. You can always, you're always going to get help from somebody. Google always give you good information, but you know, hands on viewing, always great, always great to have. I have another few videos on the channel. I'm now beginning five other videos. One of them have already crossed to the six thousand. Thank you, thank you very much for that. Didn't expect such such I'm trying to get the right words at the moment. Feedback also from the viewers. You are really great. I love speaking to you. If you're questioning my accent, I'm from the Caribbean. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. E60. <laughs> oh yeah. So we're getting this out here. You can view some of these fishes. You can see the tantra. Right here. More like a kohaku. But he has the tantra headpiece. There's the female version. The female is coming up the side of her. Like he's moving. Yes. He moved up. So you see the chagoy or kagoy as you prefer. Then there's a skoy, that's the meal. More slender but it's easier to tell when they get older. So you can see them the glimpse both here. Let's see which one's here. This is the meal again. Meal is here. Let's see what the female is right now. It's always great to have plants in a pond because it helps with economic aversion. Yes, you would have to do at some point. A full change or 20% of photo change by hand. It just generally small points easier to do. But in case the electricity runs out, you don't have a backup generator or you just don't want the extra bill. They really, really help getting things done. You can still use some water clay. Use some normal water. Use some rain water. Like leave it to sip. Use fox tail. Cultivate some lap wonder water. Microbes, some copods, fly fry in advance. Cause wait for two weeks, time months. It always helps. It always helps to get things done in advance. When you have breeders in there, some of from koi. I also have toffee secrets over there. If you turn some right, I'll fry over there. I'll do it that one day. But back to this one. The example of the reason I gave that of the toffee secrets, or you could call them albino convicts, they generally. Breed kind of easy. Water condition need to be nice. Planting helps. And as, as stated, always having microorganisms in the pond really assists in getting things done. Taking a last view of these. I'm just saving their nest is waiting for long. Just stay once more to the camera, you'll stick it to you. I'll guide them back. I'll guide it back to you. Just keep your hand there. I'll guide it back to you. Meal there, the females over there. And the cat, the cat going meal is there. So that's the female and the male. You can see the slender body on the male. These are generally about two years old, three years old. I got them at somebody in Grand Bazaar. I'll disclose that name if you want the information, please contact me. For the people in Shindan. 
if anyone out external we are to saw some great ones if you like i can look at them yeah let's just take a two minutes to look at the pond without me speaking let's clear it up a little bit first So we have for aquatics, it will be great. Look up for my next video, we'll look forward to it. It will be coming out soon. Every two weeks I'll be dropping a new fish video. 